All right, well, good morning. Happy Monday morning. Uh, let's get started. So um, any special requests today? No? All right, let's get moving. Go ahead and find the end of your mat. Let's start the timer. Can't work out for free. All right, go ahead and roll your shoulders. Go ahead and just really catch that breath. I don't know about it. for you, it feels like maybe it's the first time I've taken a breath since Friday. Ah, good. Just take one arm up, exhale as you lean, and then just on your own, inhale on the way through, and exhale as you come over. We're gonna go back and forth with that, just with your own breath. Inhaling each time you come through the center, and then exhale as you arrive into that leaning mountain. Go slower if you need to. And bring both arms up. Soft fold, bend your knees, head down to your feet. Again, legs are soft here. Bring the hands above the knees and let your back open up here into standing cow. Roll the shoulders again. Good, and then roll up into standing cat. Nice rounded spine here. Good, take a breath, just straighten the legs and stop when you feel that stretch reflex into fold. Good, step back with your right foot to a high lunge. Good, just begin to feel that lengthening of the bones here. Inhale, touch the floor, step in, exhale and fold. Step back with your left foot and come up to high lunge. Hands to the floor, step in and fold. Right leg back, high lunge. Hands to the floor, step in, exhale and fold. And left leg back. High lunge. Inhale, hands to the floor. Step in and fold. Good, walk back to downward dog. Spread the fingers out on the floor. Roll the shoulders out of your ears. You can pedal those legs a little bit if you want to. And come forward into a plank. Listen, drop your knees. Exhale back to child's pose. Then come forward and go back to plank. And chaturanga to up dog. Good, and go back to child's pose again. Knees wide, feet toward the center. Good, and make your way to your tabletop. Good, take a breath. And we're gonna combine thread the needle here with a bird dog. So I just want you to start by extending your left hand and your right leg. Pull that core in.
Now inhale and set it down, then take that left arm and come up to the side. Inhale, set it down and exhale, push away. Inhale, set it down, rotate left. Inhale, set it down, exhale, push away. Push with your heel, not your toes. Inhale down, exhale and rotate. Inhale down, exhale, push away. Inhale down, exhale and rotate. And this time, inhale, exhale, swim through. Good, bring yourself back to tabletop. Let's do the other side. So left leg extends, push back through the heel, extend your right arm. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, rotate right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, extend your table. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, rotate right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, extend your table. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, extend your table. Inhale, set it down. Exhale and rotate. Stay up here, take a big breath. And exhale, reach through. Good, make your way back to tabletop, tuck your feet. Inhale as you lift into downward dog. Exhale as you sink the hips, or the heels rather. And walk the feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, standing extension. Exhale and fold. bend your knees lift your gaze and unhinge well done yep getting warm all right go ahead and find your breath inhale up bring the hands into prayer lift your right leg into single leg chair pull in through the core Make sure that you're slightly bending that standing leg. Good, take a breath on your exhale, extend your leg. Squeeze this quad. Now bend it back in, set the toe down if you need to. Push away to warrior three. Unhinge to single leg stand. Exhale, extend your leg. Pull it in, exhale, warrior three. Inhale, pull it in, exhale, extend your leg. Inhale, pull it in, exhale, warrior three. Inhale, single leg stand, exhale, kick away. Pull in, and warrior three, take a breath, set your foot halfway down, split your fold.
Good, step that right foot all the way back. Turn your right foot and spiral up to warrior two. Good, feel those pr shoulders pressing down away from your ears. Straighten your legs, kick the right hip away, make your way over to triangle. Relax through the middle of your body. Let your breath carry you open here. Inhale as you bend that left leg, come all the way back up to warrior two. Take a breath. And now exhale up into extended warrior, or I'm sorry, uh, warrior two, sun warrior, reverse warrior, but it's not extended. We'll get there. Good. Turn down the right side of your mat. Take a big breath and exhale. Wide leg and fold. Walk toward the top of your mat. You're in a lunge. Take a deep breath. Revolve as you drop into your hips. Both hands to the floor. Step back to downward dog. And find your plank. Inhale, chaturanga, exhale to up dog. Good, lower yourself all the way but down. Pull your core up and in, off the floor. Good, take a breath. Lift the legs and the upper body. So think about lengthening, not just lifting up your ankles and your knees are on the floor. Push your hips down. Now exhale, open this out. So you're doing a jumping jack on the floor. Bring it all together and lower it down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Exhale, open. Exhale, bring it in and set it down. Lift. Open, together, and down. Don't really care how you breathe. Open, just don't hold your breath. Together, and down. One more time, lift. Open, together, and down. Set your hands by your heart. Push yourself up and back. Knees go wide. Child's pose. Roll yourself up onto your shins. Extend your left leg, so keep your right knee down. Put your left foot out to the side. Make sure that your hip is directly over your knee. Take a breath, up with that right hand, so same as the leg that's down. And we're gonna reach over this leg, keep your hand off of your knee. So you can be here, you can be past your knee or open. We don't wanna be on the knee. Think about pushing your right hip out and forward here. Inhale, spiral over. Right hand goes to the floor. 
reach, make this straight line between your left leg and your left arm. Exhale, so it's a bird dog. We're just pulling together from the side and reach away. Inhale, exhale, pull the belly button into your spine, reach away. Pull the belly button in, reach away, in, reach away. Take a breath, reach your arm up, grab hold of that foot. Try to make your head and your knee point in opposite directions. Open up toward the ceiling. If you want to, you can kind of pivot open and look at the ceiling. We're gonna let go of our left leg and let it come forward into a kneeling lunge. Good, get your balance. Relax into your hips here. And bring the hands to the floor, take a breath, slide back into your hips here. Good, come forward into a lunge. Lift your back leg. When you're ready, inhale and step in. Find your standing extension. Lengthen the ribs off the hips. Take a deep breath and exhale and fold. Good. When you're ready, lift your gaze, unhinge. Find a big shoulder roll at the top and then a breath. Let the hands come to prayer. And let's stand, single leg stand, left leg is gonna lift. Remember to pull the core in, slightly bend the knee you're standing on. And kick that leg out. Pull it in and exhale over to warrior three. Unhinge, exhale, kick away. Pull it in and hinge to warrior three. Unhinge to single leg stand. Kick away. Pull it in and warrior three. Unhinge to single leg stand. Kick away. Pull it in, warrior three. Set your foot halfway back on your inhale and split your fold. Reach down the front of that leg. Step back with your left foot, turn it, and find your spiral open to warrior two. Strong legs here. Push through both feet. Let this knee open toward the pinky toe. Straighten your leg and make your way over to triangle. Find that lengthening of the spine past the knee, past the ribs and the hips. Good, inhale as you bend your knee, bend your right leg, and exhale up into Sun Warrior, Reverse Warrior. Expand that distance between your right hip and your right pinky. And take a big breath up, turn everything down the left side of your mat, take a breath, 
and exhale, wide-legged fold. And walk toward the top of your mat, find your downward dog. And make your way to your plank. Chaturanga to up dog. and lower that all the way down. Now, before we did the snow angel where we started with our arms out on top, we're just gonna change it a little bit by bringing your arms behind you, palms up. So take a breath, pull the core in, roll the shoulders back and lift the legs. Now take a breath, exhale. Legs are gonna go out and arms go up. Bring it all back down. So there's no release here like there was before. Reach out, open, and in. Tighten all the way around the core. Out, and in. And up and out, and in. Bring the hands by the chest, relax the legs, Inhale, peel yourself up and back into child's pose. Bring yourself up to your shins. Take your right leg and extend it out to the side. Make sure that your left hip is directly over your knee. Good, inhale up. Same arm as the foot that's down or knee that's down. Exhale over to your gate pose. Again, you can be below the knee on the hip opening, but stay off of your knee. Your focus is pushing this hip away. And inhale, cartwheel over, find that long line here. Top arm, top leg, flex that foot, push to the wall, take a breath, exhale, curl it in, knee to elbow, and push away. Exhale in. Last one, inhale long here and reach back. Grab that foot or ankle, open up your knee to the opposite wall of your head, push your hips forward. And if you want a little more, look up at the ceiling. Good, from here, take that leg, and just step forward with it, release into a big kneeling lunge. Hands to the floor, inhale, exhale, slide back into your hips. And come forward, lift into a lunge. Inhale as you step in and come to standing extension. 
Pick the rib cage up off the hips. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees, lift your gaze, and unhinge. Good job, guys. Reset. Find your shoulder roll. Good. Take a breath. Exhale over. Hinge and fold. Take your right leg back. Turn it. Step a wide out with that left leg, unhinge, facing the top of your mat. Warrior one. Good, now set your right hand on the floor. Turn your back foot, drop to your knee, Put your shoulders on the inside of your leg. So we're in this grasshopper pose here. Think about someone gently pushing your hips forward. For now, try to stay flat footed with this foot. Good, now we're gonna add a rotation. You've got a couple choices. You can stay on your hand and just rotate here. You can drop to your elbow. So my right hand is gonna go toward my left leg. I might even touch it and I can rotate here or I can rotate behind. Remember, you don't have to just pick one, you can always Choose different ones, see what's working for you today. Good, now from here, walk your foot back in, narrow. Lift your lunge, turn your foot, and spiral up to warrior two. Should be in a really long pose here. Push that right hip in. Set your left arm on your left leg. Exhale to extended angle. Make a straight line from that right hand to your right foot. Push the right hip down. You can go lower if you want to, but keep the hip down. Good, rotate that top arm. Straighten the legs and find your triangle. Good, turn toward the top of your mat. Let your right foot turn up to lunge. Take your left foot up to three leg dog. Press that right heel down. Good, pull the heel into your hamstring. Open up everything to your left. It was kind of like that kneeling pose we just did. Come back to your three-leg dog. Now listen, set your three-leg dog. Set that left foot across at nine o'clock. You might wanna back the hands up a tiny, tiny bit. Squeeze through the inner thighs. Press up through the hips. Twisted down dog. Now from this twisted down dog, walk forward. Just turn your feet and open into broken triangle. And find your plank. Chaturanga to up dog. Whew, that was hard. Whose idea was that? And <laughs> sit back into child's pose.
Good. Bring your stuff up to your shins. And now just take your left leg forward again. You're still on your knee, but this time I want you to relax your hips so that the foot opens, the knee opens. You're looking at the bottom of your left foot. So now we're in this grasshopper variation. Don't be afraid to move your foot if you need to. So if it needs to come in a little more or if it needs to go wider. Good, reset that, tuck your back foot, lift your lunge, step in to standing extension, find a deep breath, exhale and fold. Step back with your left foot and turn it. Now take that right foot toward the right side of your mat come up into warrior one so shoulders and hips are both facing the top of the mat little wider stance here good now we're just going to vinyasa take both hands down to the mat Turn your foot, drop your knee. Keep your foot flat on the floor here. Now you probably have one hip that's tighter than another. So just kind of honor where this one's at. Push the hips forward. Make sure you keep your ears out of your shoulders. We tend to want to hunch over here. And then we add our twists, so you can come down to the elbow. I'm gonna stay up this time and just turn. I tend on this side to be tighter in my left hip and I'm able to keep that sink within my hip comfortably and actually feel it more by staying up. So you do what you need to do. Good, come back, walk your foot back toward the center, lift your back foot, spiral up into warrior two. Should be a nice long stance there, feel this hip. Good, straighten your legs, come over to your triangle. Good, now bend that right knee, set your forearm on your leg, reach over, extended angle. Make that straight line between your left hand and left foot. If you need more, go lower, but keep the hip down. If the hip comes up because you touch the floor, come back up here. Good, circle around. We already did a triangle, I went early but that's all right. Good, turn. Take your right leg up to three leg dog. Push that left heel down and pull into the hamstring, open everything to your right. Keep the left hip pressing down. Keep that left heel pushing down. And now inhale, take the right leg, kick it through to three o'clock, push the hips up, twisted, Downward dog. Walk it forward, turning that back foot, opening up into broken triangle. Find your plank and chaturanga to up dog.
find your child's pose. And make your way up to your shins. Now you're going to take your right leg forward. Good. And then relax your hip, flex your foot, and let yourself roll open looking at the bottom of your foot. Good. Make sure we're not hunching over here. Keep your heart tall, hips down. Good. Bring that back up. Lift your lunge. Take a breath and step in and find your standing extension. Long spine here. Take a breath. Exhale and fold. Good. Bend your knees. Lift your gaze. And we are back in mountain pose. Good job, everybody. Inhale up. Exhale into prayer. Good. I just want you to make sure that both of your feet are facing the top of your mat so we don't have a turnout. Good. We're going to inhale and just push one hip forward. Turn in the opposite direction. See if you can look at your heel. Push your hips forward. And inhale up. Exhale, turn the other way. And inhale up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Walk back to downward dog. When you're ready, we're going to take that left leg under for your pigeon. Reach back with that back leg. Come down. Square the hips off with the top of the mat. If you need to be on your hip to modify, you can. Okay, remember, we're trying not to tuck the chin here, but to reach forward with the crown of our head and, and with our heart. Exhale and fold. Good. Breathe into your back. Good, bring your hands up, walk yourself up, take your back leg, swing it around. Extend this bottom leg if you need to. If not, keep it bent, find your posture. Exhale, we're gonna turn toward that top knee. Should be your left knee. Look over your chin, try not to look down at your collarbone.
Good, release that. Extend your legs. Walk your sit bones towards the back of your mat. Find your hands in heart center. Inhale up, exhale. Reach the rib cage past your hips. Find your fold. Try not to put too much pressure in that chin. It's okay if your head drops, you relax your neck, but you don't wanna push your chin into your chest. You should be able to freely roll your shoulders. Walk that up. We're gonna to go to our pigeon on the other side. So I'm just going to bend my left leg, kick my right one behind. Find that length. Roll up off the hips if you can. Remember to flex your front foot. It should be your left one. And work into your lengthening here. Walk yourself up and take your back leg around. Again, straighten the other leg if you need to. Find your posture and exhale, turn. Again, try to look with your chin up rather than angling it downward. Good, and release that. Walk your feet out one more time. Exhale, fold forward just for a moment. We're gonna move on from here. Take a breath, take your feet wide. Good, point your pubic bone to the floor. Use your hands behind you if you need to. Exhale, hinge forward. Long spine here. Push the tailbone toward the front of your mat. Good, walk yourself up. Now keep your legs wide. Just take your left leg and bend it. Grab your ankle or your shin. So I'm like, I'm like this. Good. I'm actually gonna reach for my opposite foot, but I'm pushing this one open. You can even be here if you want to. So it's kind of like a seated half happy baby. Good, now find your posture. Good, so I'm seated in the center. Up goes this foot. Get it as wide as you can. So let it open up. It's gonna wanna be forward. Get it wide. That means you've gotta push this leg down. 
not get something in your eye. Ugh. All right. Good. Take this leg that's up, cross it over the other, hands to the floor. Walk your sit bones toward your heel. Now, we want to do this with our shoulders. Keep your shoulders down. And then we are going to go to half happy baby from here. So you're going to take the leg that's lifted or that's on your leg, reach across. So I'm grabbing the outside of my foot. I went across my shin. Down we go. Open that knee. So I'm pulling my knee toward the side of my body. With my right leg, I'm pushing down. Good, inhale, gather your legs in, and then push with your heels to the top of your mat. Take your feet wide again, and we're gonna hinge forward again. and then walk up. Now I'm gonna take my left leg and bend it in. I'm gonna use my elbow to push away. You can grab if you want to. Just sit up tall. Good, find that posture. Big toe hold. Good, lift. Get wide here. Cross this leg over and close the gap here. Just really let that knee relax open. Good. And now we're going to take the right hand, reach across your shin, go to the outside of your foot. Glue that left leg to the floor and come back, pulling that right knee down toward the side of your body. Half happy baby. Big hip opener. Gather your knees in. Good, and just roll back and forth here. When you're ready, roll all the way to your right side. Take a breath and then exhale, spiral open with the top of your body to the left. Good, make your way back to the center and then just rock again side to side. When you're ready on an exhale, roll everything to your left side. Find another breath and then exhale and spiral open with your upper body to the right. Bring everything to the center. Put your feet together. Let your knees fall open. Reclined bound pose. Bounce the hips a little, the knees a little if you need to. You can set your hands on your legs for some extra weight.
And then as we move into rest pose, either walk your feet away and let your knees come together, or let yourself go all the way out into your corpse pose. Relax your arms. That doesn't mean you have to do all of that at once. Take your time. We're going to do a little bit of grounding today. So I want you to begin by really paying attention to where your body is in contact with the floor. Really pay attention to the details. Scan through your body. What part of your foot, what part of your leg, what part of your hands? We're not tensing any of those, we're just noticing them. Hear your breath. Now I'd like you to move outside of your body. What else do you hear? Do you hear your air conditioner? Do you hear birds? What do you hear? And again, you're just noticing those things just being present in this moment. And with your eyes closed, what are you visualizing? Are you maybe visualizing what you're hearing? Feel your heart slowing down, your breath growing deeper. And just be thankful for this tiny moment in time. And before we begin to move, I would like for you to start at 10 and just slowly count backward, kind of arriving back to your body. And then begin to feel your body on the floor. And when you're ready, join me seated. Good, just let your ear fall from side to side. Roll your shoulders and bring the hands to prayer. Take a deep breath in. Exhale with a big sigh. 
and inhale up. Do that again, exhale out, roll the shoulders, inhale up, bring the hands into prayer. God bless you guys. Namaste. Woo, happy Monday. Great job, guys. We'll see you Wednesday. As usual, let me know if you have any questions.